let's talk about bits. Now, I'm not gonna talk about specific bits. If you've been following my channel or my videos or my, my website, you'll know that there are two bits that I like to recommend and you can check those out and the links are, will be below in the description. But it doesn't matter to me which bit you use, but the reason I recommend these is not because they're going to get your horse to gait. The reason I recommend these is that generally many, many, many horses find them more comfortable than the general gated bits that are on the market. Now, I'm not gonna name names about gated bits, but this is just a short video to tell you that the bit I recommend is for the horse's comfort, not the rider's control. Let me say that again. The bits I recommend are for the horse's comfort and not for the rider's control. If you, are, if you use the snaffle I recommend and you have a hard time stopping or turning, do you know that it is not a hor the horse has a hard mouth and it is not that the bit doesn't work, it's that the horse needs training. Okay, that might have been a little harsh, but it's still true. If you can't stop your horse with a snaffle, it means the horse needs training. Now, before, before you do anything or change your bit, know that I, I require rider safety first. So if you can't ride safely in a snaffle, don't. But I want you to understand that there's no such thing as a hard mouth. There's only a horse that needs training. And there's always, there's going to be exceptions to this rule, but they're very few and far between. I want a horse to find a bit that's comfortable for it because the horse likes it, not the rider. And then I want the rider to spend time training. And I know for most trail riders, it's not as fun as, as going on the trail ride, but that's what I firmly believe. So that's controversial too. Dang, I'm not so good. These are all controversial. Anyway. The bit is for the horse's comfort, not the rider's control.